teaching you all today in the flex block how to do the print making, yeah? So to begin, we need a few things. You need the paper on the surface in case you make the mess. Second, you need the styrofoam plate, just like the ones that we make the goodies like the cakes on for dessert. But today we use it for the printmaking. Yes. We also need the scissors, like so. Careful not to get the boogers, this, the ouches. Um, we also need the papers, just a white plain simple kind will do, yes. Okay, we also need the speed bar. Speed bound rollers here, the, the briars. These are very nice, yes, nice quality for today. We also want today we'll be using the block print ink. However, we can also use the acrylic paint if you don't have this. Yes, okay. So to begin, we will do the first layer of the printmaking. Printmaking is fun because you can do many layers like so, yes? So to begin, you may cut off the edge. Now we don't want the edge because it is too uh, rounded here. We want the flat surface. So we make the cuts like so. You can hum a little tune as you do the cut. Sure enough, you are done cutting. See? You show the scene to garbage. So now you have the first layer of the print make here. So to begin, you can cut around any shape you like to start. I love the flowers. These the flowers all around me. This is just so nice. So I will make the flower today here. So I will make the cuttings for the flower just around the edges, just like a flower would be here. So this is just the first layer here. We have the flowers. Put this away there. So now for the first layer here, I will be making the designs. Just draw on with your pencil. It will make a groove in the plate and then later you will see the nice effect that it will have on your work. So to begin here, I just make the little flower petals like so. You like this? Thank you. I like, I like this very much as well. I think I did a very nice job with that. So now to begin, we will take a plate, use the back side to mix the colors that you prefer. Now today I will be using a lot of the red here, just a little bit on the sides here, and we will be mixing the colors. I will also take a little bit of the blues here. Blues. Now do we know what colors we get when we mix the reds and the blues? Well, we get the purples, very good job there. So the red is the primary color, the blue is a primary color. Now when we mix two primary colors, we get a secondary color, you see. Yeah, so. Now we learned something today, yes, in the flex box. Okay, so we mix those two together. We get a nice transition here. Okay, so we go from red all the way to blue there. So you can use any colors you would wish to use. Today I will use the red turning to the blue. Okay, so we will place this just over there, like so. Okay. Oh, oops, I did just one. We will place this and we will actually go over tops, like so. Just making sure to get onto the plate. We don't want to get a lot on the papers, just because then it will make a mess for you later. So just put a little bit of ink on there like so. Beautiful. Just like so. So as you can see, we have the transition from blue to red. It's a gradient, that's what we call this. Okay, now you take the white piece of paper. You simply place the flowers down like so. You can press on the flowers. Then you flip the paper over, you see. Yeah. Now you want to apply the pressure, just like this. Just like when you're kneading the dough. When you knead the dough, you make the pressures and you push something like that. I don't know. So now you can press with the pencil as well. It just makes it a little bit harder like so. So now you can make sure you go all around the corners there. So now when we lift it up, you will see 
the image that we did the portrait. You see, it's very nice. We have the beautiful flower like so. If you would like, you can now do some more onto your print, and I will show you how to do the second layer, but I will put it here to dry first. Just like so. Okay, so another flower. So now I want to add some more colors to my prints. So what I will do is I will do some more mark making on top here. And what I do now will not, the, the old color will show through on the old print. So whatever new color I'm adding here actually won't show up where I'm trying. So you will see right away what I'm doing here. And this will be very nice, very nice like so. So I'll just add a little, a little bit of design here, just so you understand how to do the layers. So draw some more. You can use the scissors to cut some more as well. So just a little cut here, just like so, cut there, just like so, and cut there. Just a few little cuts around just to show how to do this technique there for you. Okay, and the last cut, like so. So we have a little bit different now. You can take a new place there, just to add another color to the whole feel of this. So I chose today just to add a layer of yellow over top here. So we'll just put a little bit on the plate there. And you can just mix this along with the roller like so. We have a beautiful yellow here. So now we, we just have this right over the plate, just like that. Okay. Just right over top, like so. so there we go. Just enough. So now I will take the other paper that I hung up for. Okay. And we take this off here. Now I will just lightly place this back on. You can try to match this up as best as you can. Yeah. So I'm going to take a minute here. Just match this up like so. Beautiful. So now we press the pressure again, there, turn it over, you can do the rubbings again, just to make sure that it all transfers there. Now, when you peel this off, you will get the different color showing through. This is the second layer there. Now, you hang this up to dry. It's very beautiful, I think. I think I want to give this one to my granddaughter. <laughs> okay, there we go. She's three years old. So after you must put your caps back on, nobody likes a party pooper who does not put the caps back on, yeah? We don't want to dry as paint, so please, please make sure to do so. You must also make sure that you wash your rollers if you are finished with the colors. There will be the washer and the soap for you in a little dish there, if you must do so. Please do not contaminate the colors as well, yeah? Because then you will be the party pooper. If you want to share colors with your friends, this is a very good idea. And I think you are smart if you do that. Now, excuse me, I want to play some ukulele. Well, thank you again. This is Mrs. Misha, and I, I am glad to give you the flex blocks.